ladies, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today's video, I wanted to talk to you about a certain uh, palette that I had gotten from Sephora, and um, it is the Makeup Forever Artist Palette, Artist 1 Palette. There's an Artist 2 Palette, and then there's an Artist 1. Um, I have never tried anything from Makeup Forever, and... Um, I've been wanting to go ahead and purchase some other products from other companies. I don't want to feel like I'm always getting the same one sometimes. And plus, it just gives me a chance to try out the companies themselves and see what the quality is like. Uh, how well they work and everything. And so Makeup Forever is on that list. So naturally when I got my palette in the mail, I was quite excited because I wanted to play around with it and, you know, swatch them right away and everything. Comes with a nice uh, booklet that, um, you know, shows you, like, well, it talks to you about the owner or the creator, which I think, I don't know if it's Fonde, Fondien or something like that. I think they're French. Yeah, Paris. I think, I think it's a French or French or something. Um, and it shows you the colors there and how to use them, different eyeshadow looks and so on, and that book. And then the palette itself is a pretty cute packaging on the front with the lips and then uh, like a lip pencil maybe that is that they're got in their teeth there. And um, this palette is pretty adorable. It reminds me of... And I wish I could think of the palette's names that, because I got both of them. They're from the Too Faced collection that they had out for Christmas. Um, and it's the bigger palette that has like, um, like about, I forget how many eyeshadows, but it has a bunch of eyeshadows and it comes with like blushes and bronzers and so on. And that's a pretty heavy, durable um, palette. Quite, you know, quite nice and big. Well, this has the same like hard cardboard um, durable uh, palette you know like the packaging and stuff it is really really nice so um, I was quite surprised of how well it, f it felt you know it has some weight to it um, when you open it up the plastic was different too I've never had it's a thicker more thicker uh, plastic it's not the paper kind, you know, like that real thin sheet paper kind. This is a real heavy, durable one, so that's really going to protect your shadows. Um, here is the mirror. You do have a nice, nice size mirror. Pretty, really nice size mirror. And then here are the shadows themselves. You get nine, nine shades. The volume one is the more neutral shades, and then volume two is more of the more bolder color shades. Uh, volume 2 does have some neutral shades at the top, and then the rest of them are like all more kind of bolder shades. Um, the palette is $42 at Sephora, which is pretty good price compared to some of the other, you know, other ones out there that you can get of palettes, and the sizes are quite nice um, that you get in here. I would say they're almost the size of like a MAC shadow or Makeup Geek shadow size almost kind of kind of that size um, so for $42 for this whole palette that's that's pretty good and on the back it does have the colors the one thing with makeup forever that I've noticed is it doesn't say um, it's a copper color a taupe color it's more in numbers that the way their colors are listed so when I got it in the mail I was quite excited to go ahead and swatch it couldn't help it, couldn't help, just, I couldn't help myself. Literally, no sooner than I got it and I swatched it, I was, like, in love with it because, I mean, like, I have a lot of neutral palettes, not that I don't, my goodness, there's so many out there. I mean, one's probably going to say, how many neutral palettes do you need? But each one performs in their own different way when you really think about it to a degree, so, um, and plus if you're a collector like me, you know, um, I just, I love to collect palettes and makeup and try different things. So um, I wanted to give their eye eyeshadows a try and the perfect one for me was the neutral one. 
uh, beings that the bold one I wasn't quite sure how they were going to perform and I just wanted to start with the basic neutral so that's what made me go ahead and grab the neutral also and um, so yeah I was playing around with it fell in love already didn't even have them on my eyes yet so like today I did more it's uh, called the neutral my fingers high I was swatching I recorded this earlier and the whole thing just went kaput so now I'm like refilming so now I have my swatches still on my fingers but um this is considered the neutral look which each one in the booklet it will it will show you in here like uh the natural look the smoke oh the smoky looks over here more the chic looks on the end there so each one but obviously you can do what you want but it's just giving you an idea of you know um, some looks that you might want to do so I went ahead and had these already swatched <laughs> so they're already on my hands so the top row of course are more your lighter shades that you would put on your lid or maybe below the brow or whatever inner corner um, I did do the neutral shade, which is the three in the middle here going down, but I did use this shade on this end here to do like right in the inner tier area to kind of brighten up a little bit there too. So that's what I did in here for that part. But the rest of it I did do in the middle uh, with the shadows. So um, it said to take this one and put it on your lid, all over on your lid this here to work in your crease area and outer outer V area and up and through the crease and then this color here just to put like right above a little bit so yeah pretty nice look so these three lighter shades here I did those three first and they are the ones that are right here in the front of my hand these three right there so there they are and unfortunately the camera does not do it justice as in person unfortunately okay the three in the middle going across I went across and swatched them those three are these ones right here which you can see this one this one's a satin one um, pretty much I would say that's probably the downsides to to it all downside to it all is there is no actual matte shade like that's a satin and the rest are like shimmer or frosted colors or something so there is no matte so if you are hoping for matte shade there is no matte shades in this and then the last three on the bottom that go across um, wow I mean like intense pigmentation but there they are there that's the last three of the darker shades and um, yeah there they are are all right there which the black is kind of like a, a satin finish too but look how that is so crazy the intensity of that um, but all in all, I think this is a great palette. Um, obviously, if you're not into the shimmers and that, you won't want this palette. Um, but if that doesn't bother you and you're all about, or you're all about the whole shimmers and everything and you love that whole idea, I would definitely say for $42, this is so worth getting, especially to have a neutral palette. And the way that they, um, the way that they blend, the quality of them, everything, like, I was impressed with the swatching but I wasn't sure how well they were going to work and honestly I don't have like professional um, brushes or anything like that like the majority of my brushes are um, a, you know like a little more um, more affordable kinds I don't have like a lot of the higher um, higher end ones or higher quality ones but um, they perform pretty good you know I mean I never tried a professional one so I don't know, I mean, I might be mind blown away from trying one. Um, but keep that in mind, that's what I used, and I still had ended up with a really nice look. I don't know if I have that color there, but really nice look. 
So I can only imagine if you have those kind of brushes that are more better, you know, professional quality kind, that um, I can only imagine the application and how well it will work for you. Um, I'm very happy with the palette. That's why I wanted to come on here because I felt that it was so worthy of um, doing review and swatches on it that I had to come on here because I was just so happy and like I said I haven't tried any Makeup Forever products so this is my first time trying them and um, well actually I actually have a lip liner I got in one of them kits um, it was like a trial kit that lip kit or whatever that Sephora gets around the holidays and it's a small one and it's the neutral shade or natural shade and I very much liked that and was impressed with that so between that and these that's telling me a great quality so I think I'm going to get some other blushes I'm going to have blushes also and definitely I definitely want the uh, artist palette too now I definitely want the second one um, because on the top it does have some neutral shades so you can work with them or you can even use these in conjunction with the bolder colors so I think I'm really going to like that because there's just some beautiful colors in that palette but like I said I never tried their products or anything and I did want to go ahead I had to pick one or the other so of course it was the neutral one and not disappointed by it by any means so I would highly recommend getting this to anybody if you are looking for some good quality shadows um, you never tried makeup forever you're like me you love makeup forever um, I just think the price range everything it's just it's all there so anyway um, also I wanted to talk to you about real quick because uh, I'll be having a haul video but I don't want to overload too many videos because I have several videos I'm gonna be doing so um, but I was like really impressed with this lip combo and they're both drugstore so I just real quick wanted to tell you I got one of the CoverGirl Lip Perfection lip liners in 225 Beloved and that's what I outlined my lips with this one here I love the Lip Perfection lipstick so this is my first um, lip liner and um, I really like it very nice color so and I matched it and put this over top and I haven't tried any of the L'Oreal Infallible lipsticks this is the lipsticks and it's in 112 112 um, unending kiss and it's just a nice nice neutrally pink shade so there it is right there very nice I'll just real quick you can see very pretty so that's what I put on my lips which there goes the lid to the lipstick so yeah anyway beauties I hope that was helpful for you guys um, like I said just want to come on here and show you real quick because I just was so excited and like just in love with how like I feel like this palette here is almost like when I got my Kat Von D Monarch palette and how you know like that was like mind-blowing to me that's how I feel about this one here so I'm definitely like I said gonna get the second artist I was gonna get actually Kat Von D's all matte palette but I'm gonna hold off on that because I want to give Makeup Forever a little more of a go and I want the bolder colors too because with summer coming you know and stuff and we're already in spring I want to play out have them to play with so all right beauties thanks so much for joining me I so much appreciate it and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also if you're not subscribed to my channel I would so love to have you so go ahead and click the subscribe button and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you'll take care and I'll see you